with death scattered all over the country, we needed to talk to people all over the country. But in the midst of a pandemic, traveling was out of the question. So we did what journalists do. We improvised. This is how we did it. Take Seth Stoughton, an expert in police restraint techniques. The state calls Seth Stoughton. He testified during the trial the officer now convicted of murdering George Floyd. It's just not appropriate to prone someone who is at that point cooperative. Stoughton lives in South Carolina. There he is in his office. Seth, just give me your full name. My name is Seth Stoughton. We could have done this over Zoom. You've seen plenty of those interviews by now, but we wanted to do something different. So a few days before we did this, we mailed him this kit. Inside, two small cameras and an audio recorder, a mini studio in a box. Okay, it is moving. Before the interview, photojournalist Chris Hansen over Zoom helped Stoughton set up the cameras and recorder. Okay. Thanks to that, we got clean audio, clean video, and a new way to capture the back and forth reporters like me find so vital during stories like this. How long is too long? But as soon as you get past that couple of seconds, it's too long. Ten times we mailed this kit, all so we could interview some of the country's top experts in the field of policing and medicine. We also relied on sister stations of ours to do additional interviews with families of those who died. Parts of our investigation aired in Sacramento, Dallas, Phoenix, New Orleans, Columbus, and Minneapolis. It all turned a local news investigation into a national report with national implications. A case of journalistic improvisation born out of a pandemic.